afternoon, good evening guys and welcome to another video of The Diving Trader. My name is Daniel and today guys we're looking at Alpine for Holdings, ticker symbol ALPP. Those that you follow my channel know that I have done a, quite a few uh, videos on Alpine uh, for Holdings. It used to be called Alpine for Technologies. Uh, and yeah, so you can actually go into my YouTube channel and you can click on playlists and you can have a look at all the Alpine videos I've done until date. Uh, so we're not going to go into details on and analyzing the company. I do already have a video on that uh, in, in the playlist. But what I'm going to do today, guys, is bring up a little bit of news that we received today. Uh, a few bits of news and also look at pricing. Okay, so people always want to look at price, which is probably what uh, interests a lot of people considering the situation that we're in at the moment. Uh, those that you are in the investing world know that today is a pretty red day. Uh, in fact, if we're going to have a look at it. So yeah, so we're looking pretty red. Okay, so this is what it's looking like, or what it looked like today on the 24th of March. Close. Red market. Uh, so it's not just Alpine, it's the whole market. Uh, in particular, OTC market, uh, yeah, uh, Russell 2000 has taken a big hit as well. Uh, Nasdaq was down over 2% today. So, so yeah, quite a hit today. We have had red days uh, in the last few weeks, and it looks like we're having uh, even more of a, a red day today. Uh, so, yeah, so having a look, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So, um, we're that's to be expected. It's not Alpine. But let's have a look at Alpine. We're talking about Alpine and let's have a look. So the first bit of news is this one. So dear shareholders and employees, while we understand your desire to know more about our NASDAQ uplisting status, we have no additional information to provide you. Now, they're probably getting pretty sick of writing this letter uh, and because there's people, I'm seeing people writing every day. When's the NASDAQ, uh, when's the uplisting? Uh, they do not know. We've said this before. Uh, they are waiting for the information or waiting for the confirmation from nasdaq themselves it's all in their hands whether they decide to do it tomorrow or they decide to do next week is completely up to them but we can't be asking alpine every day one is the uplisting so but anyway i think they've sort of kindly or politely <laughs> put a, an account or sorry a twitter um post out today with this to say that uh yeah this is uh, not also normal Bear in mind there was a company that was uplisted on the NASDAQ last week and they applied two or three weeks before Alpine. So we could be looking at another two or three weeks. This week on Friday will be the 10th week. Uh, so anywhere between 10 and 13 looks like it's the norm at the moment. So we could be waiting another three weeks. Having said that, guys, this is not about NASDAQ. There's loads of companies on the NASDAQ that go up, up list on the NASDAQ in a month. So if we actually go into this, the... the uh, the the web page that I sent you on my one of my videos to see see when they're uplisted the Nasdaq, uh, I'll leave it in the description. By the way, those of you that uh, do not know how to check them, uh, I'll leave it back in the description again. Um, the, it's, we need to go back to the fundamentals. We need to know why we're investing in this company. Are we investing because they're going on the Nasdaq? If that's the case, then we should be even looking at Alpine. Uh, we're looking at Alpine for the long term, and yeah, that's the way I look at it. Okay, so uh, so this could be a, a a disappointment, by the way. So everyone's thinking that it's going to go into Nasdaq and it's going to go flying high, but the company still does not change their fundamentals if they go into Nasdaq. It just means they're exposed more to institutional investors and other retail investors. And yeah, there will be demand. There will be more investors, which probably push the price up. But it won't. I don't imagine it staying up for long. So don't think that you're going to be up to twenty dollars in the next uh, few weeks, because I don't see that happening. But anyway, I'm not here to give bad news. I'm here to be realistic. Let's be a little bit realistic. And that's the whole point of my in these videos to give value to my viewers. So let's go in and let's be realistic. Let's be truthful and let's go into the next uh, bit of information. Here's another one that gets asked a lot, and this is quite a, a an interesting one. Now, if you have a look on uh, the website, the Nasdaq website, a lot of people have been looking at the prerequisites for uplist on the Nasdaq, and one of them is uh, for to be four dollars. Now, when they at the time of listing, they were over four dollars. Uh, so, a lot of people's concern now is now that it's below four dollars, will they get rejected? on the uplisting and the answer is no 
So uh, the someone's written a um, an email or a post or a chat, whatever, to to Alpine asking about this uh, um, price, and they've said that the current trading price will have no bearing on our application process. Long-term investors are excited for the future and understand the power of the 50 million that we just raised, the 30 million of debt paid off, and the power of being listed on the Nasdaq. Thank you. That's brilliant news. Blah blah blah. Okay, so yeah, so it doesn't affect the price because they're below. It doesn't affect them uh, being up listed on the Nasdaq. So it's just to give you a little bit of a comfort there. Okay, so that's that. Let's have a look. What's the next one? Let's have a look at the next. Thing. what do we want to look at price this is what I want to look at now guys let's have a look at price and this is the one hour chart this is a one hour chart uh, if we have a look volume uh, was high this morning and uh, this is the hedges doing their work shorting these stocks and uh, when they start shorting what happens uh, retail investors start to get scared and they start to sell off so that's what's been happening today okay that's what's been happening across the board and this is what happens uh, and Alpine's one of them has taken a hit just like uh, the other companies if we have a look at pricing if we have a look at our RSI RSI is looking quite good because it's looking that it's hit down below the 30 mark so it's looking that it's actually oversold having said that when I'm looking at this I always wait for the second hit when I say that so here we have a first hit so if you're looking to buy in for example uh, I would always wait for the second line so this is the first line it's slightly oversold but we don't know how far this could go down so it will come back up eventually but we don't know when but uh, it's looking like it's slightly oversold at the moment which is normally a good sign uh, for buying okay speaking of which that actually coincides with these support levels as well so these lines have been there since i've last done my videos uh, every time i come in they're, they're already plotted and we've always talked about the last few weeks how we've had this consolidation right this side consolidation during quite a lot of time and now finally in these last few days boom we've seen the dip now the dip is probably round about it is yeah three dollars and twenty one it's actually sat right down on the support level now now if we go back and have a look in january boom so those same levels if we go and have a look at the back in uh, march uh, a few weeks ago boom and now we're at these levels that's one two three now the question is does it break if it breaks down below these levels we could be looking at round about phew, these levels down here which were back at the beginning of january which could be anywhere between two dollars and thirty and uh yeah two dollars okay so uh, it may sound depressing but if it does get to those levels it's great for buying more right if you really believe in this company get them from two dollars is a bargain but will it happen I don't know we'll have to see we'll have to see if it bounces off if it bounces off uh, it's good news it means that we're going back up so so yeah it's also uh, trading below uh, trading below the uh, 21 expansion moving average okay so if we have a look in the past uh, just have just to give you an idea we've had a downtrend that's been common and then when it's hit and it's turned round it's like it likes to be on top of the uh, on the the moving average uh, 21 exponential moving average so we'll see so this is okay it's looking okay uh, I know it's not exciting but we just have to be patient just have to be patient if no one can handle this uh, this type of investment what you need to do is probably shut your app off for a while your telephone and come back in a few months and check the price and that's when you'll be uh, happy okay so guys that's a little bit on alpine guys that's my review to today my views uh, i hope you've enjoyed the, this video if you have give me that big like guys that like really helps the youtube algorithm and also if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe uh, uh, to watch out for more videos guys let me know what you think uh, who's bought in today i want to know i want to know who's been buying today uh who sold today last but not least guys before i finish this video don't forget that we're we have a discord group okay there's a discord group uh, i've teamed up with trading with cj uh, one of my youtube buddies out there we're in a 
over 3,000 members in there to talk about all sorts of stocks. So you can talk about tra um, swing trades, you can talk about penny stocks, you can talk about growth stock value stocks, and Neo, EV, or you name it. Uh, so we have a, a Discord there. Now, I normally don't do this, but I'm going to advertise or I'm going to give you uh, another Discord group, uh, which I normally wouldn't do if it's not our own Discord group. Uh, but I think you can get a lot of uh, value-added uh, service out of this. And this is Alpine. There's a dedicated Alpine for Holdings uh, Discord group. Uh, and I'll leave that in the description. So I'll leave both our Discord uh, group in discussion in the, dis the description below, plus the Alpine. So join the both of them. You'll f learn a lot and find out a lot. You can ask a lot of questions and be part of a big community where we're all learning. So guys, thank you for watching. Have a great evening and I'll speak to you soon. Bye now.